how to use the power of the voices. Like, oh, like just using the voices. Someone's saying, no, you don't talk about my hair. We teach them like, you know, when someone goes, oh, your hair looks like a girl. No, my hair is a, of that of a warrior. I have long hair. I am very proud of my long hair. This is my religion. I will never cut my long hair. You know how there's a lot of Sikh kids getting bullied and they get beat up and they're targeted because they're sick. And the Nishani that stands out is their case, it's mm. their gutta, mm. it's their patka, it's their chunni. Mm. It's the fact that their gays are targeted. And we saw a lot of these videos. And then me and another Singh from Singh Army podcast were sitting together at, at his house. And we are still were talking, uh, Indy Singh. He, was, he used to be an MMA fighter and he won the MMA belt of UK as well. So wow. he knows what he's doing when it comes to martial arts. And we were talking, yo, what can we do? We've got to do something. If something happens, and you're aware of it, you must act as sick. We must act. If we hear someone in our alakas hungry and needs food, we have to act. We've got no choice. We have to do something. We became aware of all this bullying and all this that's going on. Thought, you know what? We've got to do something. Let's get together, travel the country when and however we can, and put on a seminar called Gay Sambal. And the aim is basically to teach people how to look after their gays. And it's too multifaceted. The first thing is we are going to be targeted or some of us are going to be targeted because of our gays and we're going to be bullied. Some people are bullied. How to stand up to bullies, how to fight against them, how to speak up, how to act with confidence because it's vital. No one messes with a confident person. Even if you don't have the ability to fight or back up your words, your words alone will deter a lot of people. Yeah. So now we travel the country where and when we can. We give the kids script. We give them affirmations like I am sick. I am strong. I am confident. I will never cut my hair. I will stand up for myself. I will speak respectfully. I will take care of everyone. And then teaching the kids to be respectful to strong. If you're respectful, if you're strong, no one messes with you. Mm -hmm. And then teaching them some martial art moves, what to do if someone's grabbing your gear, how to build a fence like some of us are trained with the uh, Jeff Thompson and other martial artists. So we've got experience of what we're doing. And the main thing we're teaching is the ability to stand up for yourself and the mentality. More than knowing how to fight, it's knowing what to fight for and when to fight. So that's what we're instilling in the children. You know what? You speak up. We don't take shit off anyone. We stand up. We're not going to get mugged off. We're not going to get pushed over. We'll speak up where need be. If it's the younger children, we speak up. We tell the teacher, we tell our parents. And teaching them not just about bullying, but any form of abuse. Like One thing we say is, one of the rules that we have when we teach is, no secrets allowed. You're allowed zero secrets from your parents. So that means if uh, someone at a wedding, an uncle, uh, someone at a religious institute, someone in school, on the bus, some, says something, you know, like, here's some money or here, come uh, come next to me, don't tell anyone. And no, anyone says anything like that, anyone touches you any way inappropriately, you yell, you scream, you make it, it known straight away. Nothing stays secret. Mm -hmm. And also what we teach the kids is the moment, the very first moment someone tries to bully you, someone touches you, that moment straight away you say no. You don't touch that. If you're doing it by mistake, mm -hmm. understand that this is my religion. You do not touch my turban. Mm -hmm. And also we're teaching them how to behave. We also tell them, you know what, say please, say thank you, work hard. We explain to them, you have to work hard. It's part of our religion to work hard in everything you do. Your training, what Maharaj Guru Nanak Dev gave us three golden rules. Mm -hmm. One of them is Gert Guru, to earn your living by honest means. Mm -hmm. And while you're not earning your living, you're doing other things, training, working, studying. You work hard. You might not be the brightest in the class, but you work the hardest until the task is done. I want to instilling this in our kids, giving them that self-confidence and then teaching them if someone grabs your guti, someone grabs you in a headlock, how to defend all these things. And so we travel the country and then other things we show them is how to comb their case. Because what we want the kids to do and what our aim is by year seven, going into secondary school, every boy and girl should be able to do their own case. And it's a thing for boys only. You don't want to be in year seven, 12, 13 years old in the morning. Yeah, like kind of big or 14, 15, year 10, going to your mommy, mom in the morning. Mommy, gutti kar do. It's a bit embarrassing. And then it holds you back and it affects your confidence because you're scared to go on residential trips. Mm -hmm. I've been there where I don't know how to do my gutti. I don't want to go on a trip. Everyone's going to see my long hair. People are going to laugh. They're going to say girls have long hair. Mm -hmm. Then we teach them and we give them affirmations that we have long hair. We are proud of our long hair. We do not cut it. Yes, it's down to there. Mm -hmm. Yes, I'm proud of it. No, I'm not going to show you. And we, we give them that confidence that, you know, if someone is saying about something about your religion or someone else's religion or anyone, no, you do not say that. Not just speaking up for themselves, for others, then teaching them how to wash their gaze, how to apply a tail to their gaze, how to do all these things, how to dye the star and how to be happy with it. And then in training, if the star does come off, it's okay. 
If you're in the middle of fighting, the star comes off, don't stop. No, you carry on fighting. When you've got victory, when you've won, then you can pick the other star up and sort it out and do it. And just giving them that confidence because our kids need it. Our kids need to stand up strong. You guys are the virus of the Sahib Zadde who went into that court in Sirhand when they were surrounded by the great general Mughals who were shouting down to them, Allahu Akbar, and the shouting in that intimidating court. And they stalked into the middle like tigers and said, Vaheguru Ji Ka Khalsa, Vaheguru Ji Ki Fateh. We teach the kids, be proud. Never be ashamed of your suru. We teach, and then we see the little girls start standing up and say, no, I'm learning how to push and learning how to fight. And instilling them that confidence to stand up and forward.